So I'm researching uh, soil coming off the land um, from the um, things like agriculture, uh, urban development, uh, and that soil, which we call sediment, when it ends up in the estuary, the effects that that sediment is having on the uh, animals that live there, uh, things like pippies and cockles that we like to go and um, collect and harvest for a feed, um, and also the clarity of the water, you know, is it nice to swim in that water? And looking at um, where are those limits, like at what point should we be saying enough's enough, or too much is too much, and reducing how much sediment we put in to those estuaries. We have some estuaries where there are real problems and we've seen those things like pippies and cockles uh, start to disappear. So we're wanting to get a range of estuaries where some which are still in a really good condition, where um, all those um, shellfish are happy, uh, right through to areas where the shellfish aren't there anymore and figure out where's the point where it's, it's started to drop off. Estuaries are really important because they're like the kidneys of our water system. Uh, the water runs down um, from the land uh, through our fresh water, uh, streams and rivers, and then hits the estuary and the estuaries filter it. Uh, they take out all that mud uh, and contaminants and clean it up before it goes out uh, to the beaches and onto the coast. And they're also places that we like to use. We love to swim there, there's lots of uh, shellfish, and there are also areas where uh, fish like to bring up their kids. So they're really important um, for those animals and then also for us as part of our environment.